this will total become one complete cycle okay this will become a one complete cycle okay now since the work turn of the turning moment and the crank angle are turned therefore the areas of turning moment diagram represents the work done per revolution okay so the area which we, which you are going to see this will be the one complete that is in within a revolution this is what the area that is the work done which is required to be carried out okay and which is represented by a that is small a capital a f e okay a a f e okay so this is what work done which needed to be complete okay so here you can see it is the product of turning moment that is work done is nothing but or energy is nothing but the product of turning moment multiplied by the crank angle okay so it just keep it in mind it is the product of turning moment multiplied by crank angle okay so in uh, in actual practice the engine is assumed to work against the mean resisting torque okay so the, this is what the af line which we are going to see it is nothing but the our mean resistance torque line okay and this horizontal af line cuts the turning moment diagram okay where at b c d e points the this curves will get cut okay uh, and uh, next one that is uh, since it is assumed that the work done by turning moment per revolution is equal to the work done against the mean resisting torque therefore the areas of rectangle aafe is proportional to work done against the mean resistance that what we have already discussed okay now here we see in the figure that the mean resistance torque line f yes it cuts the b b c d e points okay and when the crank moves from a to p okay here we can see the when the crank moves from a to p what is going to be happen the work done by engine is a b p okay i will repeat, repeat again when the crank moves from a to p the work done by engine when the crank moves from a to p the work done by engine is small a b and p so this much area which you are going to see okay this is what the work done by engine okay but total work done is a a b p small a capital a b and p okay so a a b area is not available that is this much energy is not available so at that time this energy is extracted from this energy is extracted from obviously from the reservoir okay and which which was the reservoir that is a flywheel which is the reservoir okay so so keep it in mind when crank moves from 0 to p okay a a b energy supplied from the engine where a a b this much energy is supplied by the flywheel okay to complete the work done a a b p similarly the crank moves from p to q similarly the crank moves from p p to q the required energy is p b c q p b c q so this much is the required energy but we have the surplus energy available that is bbc extra energy is available and then this much energy is supplied to the flywheel and at that time the flywheel stores the energy now how flywheel stores the energy already we have discussed that flywheel stores the energy means the speed of flywheel is going to be increased because of this much surplus energy and over here uh we are extracting energy from the flywheel so that's why here uh, the uh, speed of flywheel is going to be decreased okay so keep it in mind now next when the flywheel uh, sorry the crank angle moves from q to r okay at that time q c c and c d r this much energy is extracted from the uh, engine okay so remaining energy c c d which you are going to see over here it is not available at that time this energy is again extracted from the flywheel and the speed of flywheel decreases because of this okay. next again similarly r to s what is going to be happen just try to imagine the required energy is r d e s 
this much required energy is there but still we have uh, extra energy d d e okay extra energy is available which is supplied to the which is supplied to the flywheel which is supplied to the flywheel and uh, the speed of the flywheel is also going to be increased okay now here again while moving the crank angle moves from s to e small s to e okay the engine supplies s e e energy engine supplies s e e energy and e f e f e energy is not available and that energy is again extracted from the flywheel and the speed of flywheel is going to be decreased at that time okay so this is what uh, the turning moment diagram explanation about the turning moment diagram of double acting single cylinder but over here the variation of energy above and below the mean resisting torque is there okay so there is a variation in the energy that is from maximum to minimum okay so this much variation is there okay and this is known as the fluctuation of energy and this is known as the fluctuation of energy okay now what are the areas yes areas of fluctuation we are going to see bbc ccd and dde these are the areas of fluctuation which represents actually the fluctuation of energy okay and the difference between the maximum and minimum energy the difference between this maximum and minimum energy is known as the maximum fluctuation of energy okay the difference between this maximum and the minimum energy is known as the fluctu maximum fluctuation of energy okay